Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to create a new Angular 15 project. So before creating to uh, Angular 15 project, in the previous video, we have discussed about the what all are the new features is added in Angular 15. We know Angular 15 is released in November 2022 and it has couple of the new enhancement and couple of the stable component or the API it introduced. Apart from that, it has the performance improvement. So all those things we have discussed in briefly in our previous video. You can get link of that video in the description section. So these are the couple of the list of the new features which is added in Angular 15, which contain like stable standalone component API. It has the image directive related like ng optimized image is now stable and couple more of the things even we can trace our error now in the efficient way so these are the couple of the new uh, features is added in angular 15 so now if we talk about the like uh, how we create our angular 15 project so if you are new to angular and if you want to create the angular 15 project then we have to do couple of the uh, um, setup in our system so first of all like you go to this url from here you can install visual studio code so through that we will do our coding and uh, like it help us to create the angular 15 project so if you will go on this url you will uh, like uh, download the visual studio and you can like start working with that so like this if you will go on this url you will see and from here you can download for the windows it is a stable version so that is the way we can download the visual studio code next what we have to do we have to install the node.js so it is an open source cross platform javascript runtime environment and like uh, when we install it it help us to like uh, run our angular project so for that one you have to go on this url and then you have to install the lts version so if you will go on this url that is the node.js.org here you will come and you can download the lts version since it is a stable version and after installing the, the node.js now it's time to install package manager so package manager like uh, we no need to uh, like uh, run any other command or any software once you install the node.js it automatically install the package manager so to install angular and dependency now we need node package manager or the npm npm is a node.js package manager for javascript and it is automatically installed when we install the node.js if you want to check the version of this uh, node like this npm then we can run node v so for that one like what we have to do we have to go to the command prompt so that is the node.js command prompt and from here if you want to uh, check the version of this node then you can just put node v and you will see that this is the latest node.js we are having in our system and now if you want to install the typescript now, now next like what we have to do we have to install the typescript so for to, uh, installing the typescript we have this command called npm install dash g typescript since i have already installed the typescript in my system so i am not going to perform this command so these are the steps next what we have to do we have to install the angular cli so what is the cli it is basically command line interface it is a tool which allows us to create the uh, project using the command line argument now for an example once we install this uh, uh, CLI. So through that command, we can run our application. We can create the component pipe using the command. So this is the CLI which help us to do all these operation. So for that one, like you have to do npm install dash g at the rate angular CLI latest. It will take the latest. So it means it will install the uh, latest CLI and that we have the angular 15 like in, in the way like it will install the angular 50 so previously I was working with angular 14 and when I will run this command so it will automatically install the angular 15 so now if I will take you on like command line arguments previously when I run this uh, like ng version so it is the saying like it is angular CLI 14.2.3 so i was working with the 14 now after checking that version when i run 
this command that is the angular latest angular cli command here you can see after uh, that when i check the version now it is saying 15 so we can say now we are on angular 15 like angular cli 15 in my system so this is the way you can do and this is the version like through this version we can get what is the latest version if you want to install a specific angular version then you you have to give instead of the latest you have to give that version name now we have done this setup in our system now what we have to do we have to create the angular application so since now we have the latest cli means angular 15 in our system so for install uh, like uh, creating an angular application what we have to do the command is ng new and the application name so this is the application name we have to give so for that one if i will go here i will write ng new and here i'm saying angular 15 app once you give the name press enter it will ask you for the routing like do you want routing yes or no so we have to select yes so i press y and then press enter now it will ask for the css so it automatically css if you want to select any other like instead of the css if you want to select as css and says or less you can uh, press up uh, and down key since i'm going with the css so i have selected and press enter so when i will press enter it will take few minutes to create our angular 15 application so let, let's wait for few seconds so now here we can see our uh, like angular project is created now after uh, angular project is created now we have to open this application in the visual studio code so for that one like uh, the visual studio code we have already installed now we have to open it so for opening this application in the visual studio code so first we have to open the visual studio and then you have to go on the files and from there just open folder so when you will click on this open folder you have to go to the path where you have created and you have to select the folder so here you can see i have the angle 15 app just now which i created when i will select this folder it will ask us like uh, like it is an uh, authorized uh, user or not so i have selected yes and here we can see like it is created like it opened that file and here we can see this is src folder this is the app folder and it has the app module.ts app component.html file so now all these things it is having now if you want to run this application you have to go on terminal then new terminal and for that one what we have to do ng serve so this we have to give and dash o if you will give this command so now here we can see like it is giving one error and what it is saying ng.ps1 can't be loaded and why it is because it is not digitally signed so for get rid of this error what we have to do we have to delete the ng uh, like ng.ps1 file from this url and if necessary after this one like if it is not working with that then we have to clean the cache so for that one what we have to do we have to go to this directory so i am already in this directory here you can see now from here we have to delete the ng.ps1 so once i will delete this one now let's go back here and run this command again so when i will run this command we can see here our project is building now here so it is building currently it will take few seconds to do that and once it will build successfully we can see compiled successfully and it is uh, loading this application we can see our angular 15 application is running so this is the way of creating angular 15 project in angular 15 cli now to verify like all the packages are in the angular 14 or the 15 so for that one what we have to do we have to go on the package.json file and here you will see all the angular uh, like uh, libraries called animation common compiler any like all the libraries we can see it is in angular 15 so this is the way we can see like this project is created in angular 15 and the way like how we create it this is the way of creating angular 15 project so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you